Hey yo, what's up guys? So <clears throat> I'm out here on the road moving down the highway and um, you know I, on the road I, I have a lot of time to you know do stupid shit like uh, make phone calls and do business you know I got this Bluetooth and shit so you know it's pretty easy so I handle a lot of my business shit I gotta handle out on the road so I've been calling around trying to get um, some life insurance quotes because you know I got nine kids and something were to happen to me you know I want to make sure that they're taken care of so I'm calling around to get quotes and and one of them calls me back and they're a good size company I ain't gonna throw no names out there cuz I you know thinking about suing they ass let alone one of them suing me so anyway um, so dude proceeds to ask me questions <clears throat> which you know if you've ever gotten a quote or whatever you know they they start asking you <clears throat> damn it <clears throat> they start asking you um, you know, just a bunch of uh, personal questions and things about your health and all that fun stuff. So, he gets through all the questions and he's like, um, all, you know, he's like, I got a couple more. Okay, great. He's like, do you have a criminal history? And I said, well, yeah, it's old. I said, man, it's over 15 years. And he says, uh, okay, well, what is it? And I said, well, why, what the hell does that got to do with life insurance? What, I mean, what is me paying you, calling you and paying you for life insurance got to do with my old criminal history. He says, well, depending on what your charges are, it makes you high risk. I said, first, I said, it doesn't matter what my charge is, whether it's from stealing a piece of candy or, you know, a triple homicide. What, again, what does that got to do with life insurance and, uh, and being a higher risk and all this shit? And I'm just like, so anyway, he starts asking and I started telling him and I told him, you know, from the most recent to my oldest shit, and I, I got through the first part, and he's like, okay, that's 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 not so bad. You know, I think we, we can still get you, you know. And I started to tell, I said, I'm not done. I said, you know. So I, I tell him my shit, and he goes, he goes, oh, man, he goes, I, I'm not going to insure you. I said, what do you mean? And he goes, yeah, we choose not to insure you. And I said, so you're just going to fucking end it, <clears throat> end it just like that. doesn't matter that my shit's, you know, damn near 20 years old, you know, and whatever. He goes, yeah, he goes, you're violent and makes you a high risk. I said, this shit, man, I just kept repeating to the dude, this shit is 20 years old. What does that matter? Man, fuck these people, man. Fucking idiots. So now I've got, I've got, um, you know, a couple other companies calling me. But, uh, yeah, man, it just, it just irritated the shit out of me. So I had to, you know, say something about it. But, uh, I don't know, any of y'all ever came up, had that fucking problem? Uh, I just thought it was kind of odd, but... I'm leaving up here in Iowa, headed down to Kansas City, actually, so I get to go to my hometown today. And, uh, I'm gonna give me some barbecue, best barbecue in the country, hands down. The rest of y'all already know that. Uh, see my other two daughters that I have back in Kansas City, go do a little visit. Then, uh, I'll drop this load down there in the morning and pick up. I don't know where I'm going from there, but, um, I got another car show coming this weekend, guys. I know I ain't been to shit in a couple weeks, but like I said, you know, y'all see around the country, it's getting cold. People are hiding out in their house. I mean, there's been a few meets, but nothing. So, but I'm gonna go to one this weekend. I found one to go to. Um, got the, my car is at the shop right now, getting some more shit done to it. Nothing major. Some of it's rework. Like I had the lights messing up on me, so I'm getting some lights re revamped. Uh, my tinted windows, I'm actually having them pulled apart or pulled off and retinting them. Uh, the last the people that I had do it the actual tent did trash work man, trash work so getting that done and then I'm, I am adding a few more lights that is a new mod is going down today or today this week right now on my car um, and uh, what's next I don't even know what's next what's next I gotta figure that out it might be the system either the system or the wrap you know and I'm still torn you know I told you all the other day I'm gonna get a wrap Man, I'm still touring. Like the way I got the car set up right now, I mean, it looks damn good. I mean, I mean, yeah, adding adding the wrap and changing it up and shit. Yeah, man, it's like I'm so torn. Should I just, you know, accentuate onto what I got now? You know, do some interior work, do under the hood and the trunk and stuff like that, or do I change up what I got? It's just like, damn. I mean, I've only had the car four months, uh, so it ain't been that long. So I don't know. I, I, I'm touring. I keep. I keep going back and forth, y'all. What do y'all think? I don't know. I, I said, I mean, I even went down. Y'all see in one of the videos I posted this week. I went down last week, and I was talking to Real, Real Too Real, for all y'all that don't know. Go check him out on his YouTube. Uh, anyway, um, 
you know, and he was saying the same thing I say is, you know, the car looks good the way it is, and, you know, you know it's me. When I roll down the street, you see it, you know it's my car. Everybody knows it's my car. I mean, it, it looks good. So, um, but at the same time, I kind of want to change it. So, or I might just buy another toy. I mean, I'm so torn, y'all. So, but y'all let me know what y'all think. But like I said, I'm going to roll down here to Kansas City. Give me some damn barbecue and shit, and uh, we'll see how things go. Best barbecue place in the country. Well, I don't know. My boy LC's is a little better. But Gates is number two. For sure, for sure. I see, no, no, I was, I was purposely trying to flip a U-turn because uh, this is why I went to park. No, I've seen you flash at me. <laughs> <laughs> see my dad and all them here yet? No, I haven't seen his dad yet. They're lazy, dude. Yeah, I texted you and said she was coming with the girls. <laughs> Let's get a grub on. YouTube videos are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Your YouTube's a little bit cringy. I'm just saying the truth. She's the one who has agreed with it. You're the one who said it. <laughs> but I'm not his child. <laughs> yeah, you're his ex-wife. <laughs> I'm allowed to think. Touch my phone and I break yours. Yeah. I just don't get the point of them. I you I wanted, the point of most no, this is what you said. So. You saw it and you're like, hey, well, let me make a better one to prove that we're better. Yeah, but, but, but you didn't. Yeah, yeah. No, it was mom. And you. No, no. I'm not making YouTube videos. I ain't got no time for that. I have social anxiety. We should make cat videos of the crazy our, shit your cats do. Our cats are crazy. Uh, oh no, my phone died. I should have drawn a picture of what Gibby did. You have to, she was, you take my charger. She was petting Gibby and he just, he was loving on All right y'all, this right here, go chicken go. About the second, third best place to eat. First, first best place to get you some gizzards. I wouldn't pull it number one as far as the regular chicken. Good chicken, but. I'm still a church's chicken fan, so, but, um, go chicken go for your gizzards, man, fire. Got me a full order right here, about to get on back on this highway as I leave Kansas City, get my grub on, got all fat this week, eating all this Kansas City food, police looking at me crazy, but, uh, time to leave Kansas City, y'all, appreciate y'all watching, please remember, like, comment, subscribe.